तो यो वर्थ ऑडियंस आज हम लोग आ गए हैं वापस एक टॉप फाइव की वीडियो में तो स्टार्ट करते हैं in western and central europe germany officially the federal republic of germany covers an area of 357,022 square kilometers with a population of over 83 million germany has over two millennia of history during which it had established itself as one of the most powerful countries in the world early history the germanic tribes are thought to date back to the nordic bronze age during which they expanded their territory and came into contact with the Celtic, Iranian, Baltic, and Slavic tribes. By the time of Roman general Julius Caesar, the Germanic people, or Germani, were established east of the Rhine River in the lands he referred to as Germania. Under Caesar Augustus, the first Roman emperor, the Roman Empire created a Roman province called Germania and Quia. Areas that remained out of Roman control were referred to as Magna Germania. In the 4th century, the Roman Empire was invaded by different tribes, eventually leading to the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD. After that, large parts of Germania eventually became part of the Frankish Empire, and later, East Francia. In 800, the Frankish king Charlemagne was crowned emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, of which German territories formed a central part. In the next centuries, the Holy Roman Empire became more complicated with over a thousand separate territories under distinct authorities in 1789. Following a defeat by Napoleon I at the Battle of Austerlitz in 1806, the empire was dissolved by Francis II, the last Holy Roman Emperor. German Confederation and German Empire. Napoleon's reign came to an end in 1815 with the Congress of Vienna forming the German Confederation, a loose league of 39 sovereign German states, most notably of which were the Austrian Empire and the Kingdom of Prussia. In the early 19th century, the German question was raised within the Confederation between the greater German solution to form a single German nation state and the lesser German solution to conserve the current federation of smaller German states. The former was promoted by Austria, while the latter was supported by Prussia. From the mid-1840s, rebellions leading to the 1848 revolutions broke out in the German states. Nearly two decades later, war broke out between Austria and Prussia and ended the victory of Prussia, leading to the collapse of the German Confederation. The following year, the North German Confederation was formed with Prussia and its allies, paving the way for the formation of the German Empire with Prussian King William I as Emperor. In 1914, Germany led the Central Power in World War I against the Allied Power. Following its defeat five years later, Germany was severely punished by the Treaty of Versailles, leading to the loss of 13% of its European territory. The Weimar Republic and Nazi Germany The German Revolution ended the German Empire and established the Weimar Republic. The war reparations, hyperinflation, and the Great Depression resulted in economic hardship in post-war Germany, aiding Adolf Hitler's rise to power. The following year, Adolf Hitler, leader of the Nazi party, was appointed chancellor and then dictator of Germany, beginning the transformation of the Weimar Republic into Nazi Germany. Under Hitler's rule, Nazi Germany became increasingly aggressive and threatened to wage a territory war. In 1938, the Nazis annexed Austria and then Czechoslovakia. One year later, it invaded Poland, initiating World War II. Following its invasion of the Soviet Union, Germany and the Axis powers occupied most of continental Europe. During the war, the Holocaust led by the Nazis murdered 17 million people across German-occupied Europe, of which 6 million were Jews. Following the Allied invasion of Normandy, the Germans received continuous defeats. Following Hitler's suicide, Germany surrendered on the 8th of May 1945, marking the end of World War II in Europe. Post-World War II and Reunification of Germany Following its surrender, Germany was partitioned into four occupation zones occupied by the U.S., Great Britain, France, and the Soviet Union. In May 1949, the France, U.S., and Great Britain occupation zones were merged to form the Federal Republic of Germany, or West Germany. 
Meanwhile, the Soviet zone became the German Democratic Republic, or East Germany. The Berlin Wall was built to divide East Berlin from West Berlin. Following the fall of the Berlin Wall, in 1990, the 2 plus 4 treaty was negotiated between the German Democratic Republic, the Federal Republic of Germany, and the four powers occupying Germany, allowing the official reunification of Germany later that year. Berlin, again, became the capital of Germany. Today, Germany is a member of the United Nations, NATO, G7, G20, and the OECD, and is one founding nation of the Eurozone. Germany is currently a great power with the largest economy in Europe, being the world's fourth largest economy by nominal GDP.